Have you ever wondered how much the most expensive wedding dresses in the world cost? The world of wedding fashion is a realm where luxury, tradition and craftsmanship converge, creating gowns that are more than just clothing. They're a statement, a work of art, a symbol of status. Today we're taking a journey through the top 10 most expensive wedding dresses, each a testament to the extraordinary heights of luxury bridal fashion. Starting at number 10, we have Melania Trump's Christian Dior gown. Crafted for Melania's 2005 wedding, this lavish gown was adorned with 15,000 rhinestones and pearls, woven into 300 feet of tulle, costing anywhere between $100,000 to $200,000. Next, at number 9, is Princess Diana's Emmanuel gown. Worn for her 1981 marriage to Prince Charles, this gown, now valued up to $150,000, featured an iconic 25-foot train and was embellished with over 10,000 pearls. In the eighth spot, we find Amal Clooney's Oscar de la Renta dress. This $380,000 wedding dress, made of Chantilly lace, was appliqued by hand with beading and embroidery, a classic choice that combined romance and elegance. At number 7, we have Kate Middleton's Alexander McQueen gown. Priced at $400,000, this gown was a modern yet traditional piece, complete with lacework and a long train, embodying a truly regal aesthetic. Halfway through at number 6 is Victoria Swarovski's crystal gown. The Swarovski heiress wore a gown worth $1 million, heavily detailed with 500,000 crystals and a 26-foot train, defining opulent bridal fashion. Moving on to number 5, we have Vera Wang's peacock feather dress. Priced at $1.2 million, Vera Wang's creation incorporated 2009 peacock feathers, offering a unique, vibrant take on wedding attire. In fourth place is Shauna's luxury gown. Valued at $1.5 million, this gown features 75 carats of diamonds and reflects a contemporary design ethos, focusing on elegance without traditional excess. At number 3, we have Angela Baby's custom Dior gown. A meticulous creation by Dior for Angela Baby, in 2015, this gown's price remains undisclosed, but the wedding totaled $31 million, suggesting a significant investment in the dress. The runner-up at number 2 is Yumi Katsura's white gold dress. Valued at $8.5 million, this luxurious gown features white gold, silk, satin, and a collection of precious gemstones, including an 8.8-carat green diamond. And finally, the most expensive wedding dress in the world, taking the top spot, is the diamond wedding gown. Priced at an eye-watering $12 million, this gown, designed by René Strauss with Martin Katz, features 150 carats of diamonds, representing the pinnacle of bridal luxury. Each of these dresses not only showcases the heights of luxury fashion, but also serves as a hallmark of personal and societal status, revealing much about the time and context in which they were worn. These gowns are more than just clothes. They're a testament to the extraordinary heights of luxury, craftsmanship, and societal significance in the world of bridal fashion. Welcome to Entrepreneurial Edge. Today we explore the world's most expensive house, Antilia. Stay tuned. In the heart of Mumbai, India stands a testament to extreme wealth. It is a towering symbol of opulence, visible from miles around. This is Antilia, the world's most expensive home, Estimated to be worth over $2 billion, Antilia is not just a house, it is a statement. Antilia rises above the bustling streets of Mumbai's affluent Altamount Road. This is no ordinary neighborhood. Altamount Road is home to some of India's wealthiest individuals. But even amid such extravagant neighbors, Antilia stands apart. Its sheer size and grandeur are impossible to ignore. The home is named after a mythical island in the Atlantic Ocean. It is owned by Mukesh Ambani, one of the richest men in the world. Antilia is a monument to Ambani's fortune, a concrete and steel embodiment of his success, but it is also a lightning rod for criticism in a city marked by stark inequality. Antilia is not just a house, it's a vertical city. Towering 27 stories high, the building stretches an impressive 570 feet into the Mumbai sky. Its unique design is based on the Vastu Shastra, 
an ancient Indian architectural philosophy. Vastu emphasizes harmony with nature and the flow of positive energy. The building's facade is a marvel of modern engineering and design. It features a distinctive blend of glass, steel, and traditional Indian motifs. This fusion of styles reflects the Ambani family's desire to blend modern luxury with their Indian heritage. The design ensures that no two floors are alike, each boasting its own unique layout and aesthetic. The first six floors of Antilia are dedicated to parking. They can house over 168 cars. Above the parking levels, the building opens up into a series of residential floors. Each floor is designed with a specific purpose in mind. There are floors for entertaining, floors for family living, and floors dedicated to leisure and recreation. Antilia is a temple of luxury, filled with amenities that most people can only dream of. The home boasts multiple swimming pools, a spa, a salon, and a fully equipped gym. There's even a private theater that can seat 50 people. No detail has been overlooked in creating an environment of unparalleled opulence. One of the most striking features of Antilia is its series of hanging gardens. These lush green spaces are spread across multiple floors. They offer breathtaking views of the city and provide a welcome respite from the urban environment. The gardens are not just decorative, they play a crucial role in regulating the building's temperature and air quality. Beyond the standard amenities, Antilia houses a number of unique and extravagant features. There is a snow room that produces real snow on demand. A dedicated temple allows the family to practice their Hindu faith in the comfort of their own home. The building even incorporates an ice cream parlor and a dance studio. An army of staff. Maintaining a property like Antilia requires an army of staff. Over 600 people work full-time to keep the house running smoothly. These include chefs, cleaners, drivers, and security personnel. The staff ensures that the Ambani family and their guests want for nothing. The staff quarters are located in the upper floors of Antilia. While not as lavish as the family's living spaces, they are still considered to be far more comfortable than the average Mumbai dwelling. The staff works in shifts to provide round-the-clock service. Their duties range from maintaining the home's complex systems to catering to the family's every need. The sheer number of staff highlights the immense effort required to maintain such a grand residence. It also underscores the vast gulf between the Ambani's lifestyle and that of the average Indian citizen. The Ambani Dynasty To understand Antilia, one must understand the man who built it. Mukesh Ambani is the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries. This is a multinational conglomerate with interests in petrochemicals, refining, and telecommunications. Ambani inherited the business from his father, Dirubai Ambani, who founded Reliance. Mukesh Ambani is known for his lavish lifestyle and his ambition. Under his leadership, Reliance Industries has grown to become one of India's most valuable companies. Ambani's wife, Nita Ambani, is also a prominent figure in Indian society. She is a philanthropist and educationist who plays an active role in the Reliance Foundation. The Ambani family is a powerful force in India. They are often in the public eye and their actions are closely scrutinized. Antilia, with its ostentatious display of wealth, has become a symbol of the family's immense power and influence. A city divided. Antilia's presence in Mumbai has sparked a great deal of debate. Critics argue that the building is a vulgar display of wealth in a city where millions live in poverty. They point to the stark contrast between Antilia's opulence and the slums that surround it. To them, Antilia represents the growing disparity between the rich and the poor in India. Supporters of the Ambani's counter that Antilia is a private residence. They argue that the family is free to live as they choose. They also point out that the Ambanis are major philanthropists. The Reliance Foundation, run by Nita Ambani, is involved in a wide range of charitable activities across India. Regardless of one's opinion, there is no denying that Antilia is a powerful symbol. It reflects both the aspirations and the contradictions of modern India. It is a reminder of the country's burgeoning wealth, but also of the deep inequalities that continue to plague it. Antilia stands as a lightning rod, attracting both admiration and condemnation in equal measure. Thank you for watching Entrepreneurial Edge. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. The Price of Prestige Unveiling the Top 10 Most Expensive Colleges in the World Hey everyone, and welcome back to Entrepreneurial Edge. Today, we're diving into the world of higher education, 
Focusing on the creme de la creme, we're ranking the institutions where tuition fees could make your eyes water. Now before you reach for that scholarship application, let's be clear. A hefty price tag doesn't always guarantee a world-class education, but these institutions often boast impressive resources, renowned faculty, and a legacy that attracts students from around the globe. So buckle up as we explore the institutions that come with a serious price tag and maybe, just maybe, we'll uncover what makes them worth their weight in textbooks. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Let's get started. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Sarah Lawrence College, nestled in the heart of Yonkers, New York. This institution has gained a reputation for its progressive approach to education, boasting a student-to-faculty ratio that would make even the smallest liberal arts college jealous. With only around 1,300 students, Sarah Lawrence offers an intimate learning environment where personalized attention is the norm. But this personalized approach comes at a price, a hefty one at that. Sarah Lawrence has produced its fair share of big names, including acclaimed filmmaker J.J. Abrams and the queen of wedding gowns herself, Vera Wang. Sarah Lawrence is all about fostering creativity and independent thinking, allowing students to craft their own unique academic paths. It's a haven for artists, writers, and free spirits, but that freedom comes with a pretty substantial tuition bill. Is it worth it? Well, that's a question only you can answer. Coming in at number nine is Southern Methodist University, or SMU as it's more affectionately known. Located in the bustling city of Dallas, Texas, SMU seamlessly blends Southern charm with big city ambition. Picture manicured lawns, stately buildings, and a vibrant campus life that revolves around its beloved Mustang sports teams. SMU is a serious academic institution, attracting students from all corners of the globe. Its alumni roster reads like a who's who of influential figures, from former First Lady Laura Bush to the Oscar-winning actress Kathy Bates. SMU boasts a diverse range of academic programs, from its highly regarded business school to its prestigious arts programs. For those seeking a world-class education with a side of Texas hospitality, SMU might just be worth every penny. Sliding into our number eight spot is Oberlin College, a small liberal arts college located in the quaint town of Oberlin, Ohio. Founded in 1833, it was a pioneer in progressive education, being the first college in the United States to admit both women and African Americans. Oberlin has always been a place where tradition meets innovation. It's renowned for its exceptional liberal arts programs, with a particular emphasis on music and the arts. Oberlin's commitment to social justice and environmental sustainability sets it apart. From its student-run organic farm to its impressive sustainability initiatives, Oberlin is a living example of how education can be a force for positive change. This commitment to excellence comes at a price, placing Oberlin among the most expensive colleges globally. For those seeking an education that nurtures both the mind and the conscience, Oberlin might just be the perfect fit. At number seven, we land in the heart of the entertainment capital of the world, Los Angeles, California, home to the University of Southern California, or USC. If you've ever dreamed of walking in the footsteps of cinematic legends, USC is the place to be. Its renowned School of Cinematic Arts has churned out more Oscar winners and industry titans than we can count. For those with stars in their eyes and a passion for all things entertainment, a USC education might just be the ticket to their Hollywood ending. Coming in at number six, we journey to the historic city of Hartford, Connecticut, home to Trinity College. Founded in 1823, Trinity is steeped in tradition, with its ivy-covered walls and stately buildings whispering tales of centuries past. This small liberal arts college has a long history of progressive activism, from its early advocacy for women's rights to its present-day commitment to social justice. Trinity's dedication to sustainability is noteworthy, achieving carbon neutrality and weaving environmental stewardship into campus life. This commitment to academic excellence and progressive values comes at a price, putting Trinity among the top contenders for the most expensive colleges globally. For those seeking an education that challenges their minds and ignites their passions, Trinity College might just be worth its weight in gold. Let's move on to our next institution. Sliding into our number five spot, we're back in sunny California, this time in the charming city of Claremont, home to Scripps College. 
Scripps is one of those hidden gems in the world of higher education, a place where academic rigor meets a laid-back California vibe. As one of the prestigious Claremont Colleges, Scripps offers students the best of both worlds, a small, intimate learning environment within a larger consortium of colleges. Scripps is all about fostering a love of learning for its own sake. It's known for its exceptional liberal arts programs, with a particular emphasis on the humanities and social sciences. But all this comes at a price, placing Scripps among the most expensive colleges in the world. For those seeking an education that emphasizes critical thinking, creativity, and a strong sense of community, Scripps might just be the perfect fit. In the city that never sleeps, New York City, lies Barnard College. Founded in 1889, it's one of the Seven Sisters Colleges known for empowering women leaders. Barnard is an experience. Located in Manhattan, Barnard students access Columbia University's resources. Its alumni include Martha Stewart and Joan Rivers. Barnard empowers women to make their mark on the world. Coming in at number three, we're staying right here in the heart of New York City, but we're crossing the street, metaphorically speaking, to Columbia University. It's one of the oldest and most prestigious Ivy League universities with a legacy of academic excellence. Columbia's alumni roster reads like a who's who of history makers, from three US presidents to countless Nobel laureates. Columbia is a global powerhouse of research and innovation. Its location in New York City provides unparalleled opportunities for internships and networking. For those seeking an education that opens doors to limitless possibilities, Columbia University might just be worth its weight in gold. In the windy city Chicago, Illinois, lies the University of Chicago. Known for its rigorous curriculum and intellectual debate, it boasts numerous Nobel Prize winners. Alumni include Milton Friedman and Carl Sagan, a challenging education for tackling global issues. Claiming the top spot on our list of the most expensive colleges is Harvey Mudd College. Nestled among the Claremont Colleges, Harvey Mudd is renowned in the world of STEM. It's perfect for those passionate about science and engineering with a well-rounded liberal arts education known for rigorous academics, hands-on learning, and a diverse community. Alumni include astronauts and Silicon Valley CEOs. Students are encouraged to think critically and make a positive impact. So there you have it, our whirlwind tour of the 10 most expensive colleges in the world. From the bustling streets of New York City to the sunny shores of California, we've explored institutions that are as diverse as they are prestigious. We've seen how these colleges offer unparalleled resources, world-renowned faculty, and a legacy that can open doors to incredible opportunities. But as we've learned, the true value of an education goes far beyond the price tag. It's about finding a place where you can thrive intellectually, connect with passionate peers, and discover your own unique path. Whether you dream of walking the halls of an Ivy League giant or finding your tribe at a small liberal arts college, the most important thing is to find an institution that aligns with your values, your goals, and your aspirations. Thanks for joining us on Entrepreneurial Edge, and we'll see you next time. Welcome to Entrepreneurial Edge. Today, we embark on the most expensive cruise in the world. Stay tuned. Imagine embarking on a journey where luxury knows no bounds, a voyage designed to fulfill your wildest travel dreams. This is not a fantasy, but a reality aboard the world's most expensive cruise, a 123-day odyssey costing a cool $1.2 million. Fasten your seatbelts as we delve into a world of opulence, exploring exotic destinations, and experiencing the epitome of extravagance on the high seas. Our journey takes us aboard the Seven Seas Explorer, a vessel synonymous with grandeur and elegance. From its exquisitely designed suites to its unparalleled service, Every aspect of this cruise is crafted to exceed the expectations of the most discerning traveler. Prepare to be captivated by tales of lavish suites, Michelin star dining, and unparalleled adventures that await at every port. Join us as we uncover the secrets of this extraordinary journey, from the vibrant streets of Dubai to the serene beauty of the Great Barrier Reef. Discover how this cruise redefines luxury travel offering a once-in-a-lifetime experience that blends breathtaking destinations with unparalleled comfort and extravagance. Get ready to be inspired to explore the world in style as we unveil the wonders of the most expensive cruise in the world. 
Seven Seas Explorer is a name synonymous with luxury cruising. This ship is no stranger to accolades, often hailed as one of the most luxurious vessels ever to grace the oceans. The Explorer boasts a gross tonnage of 55,254, accommodating a maximum of 750 guests in unparalleled comfort. What truly sets the Seven Seas Explorer apart is its commitment to spacious suites, a departure from the often cramped quarters found on other cruise ships. Each suite on this floating palace comes with its own private balcony, offering breathtaking ocean views and a serene escape from the world. The piece de resistance, however, is the Regent Suite, an embodiment of luxury that redefines extravagance. The Regent Suite is not just a suite, it's a statement. Spanning an impressive 4,443 square feet, it occupies the entirety of Deck 14, offering panoramic views and unparalleled privacy. Imagine waking up to the vast expanse of the ocean, the sun painting the sky in hues of gold and crimson, all from the comfort of your plush king-size bed. This is the allure of the Seven Seas Explorer, a world where luxury knows no bounds. And stepping inside the Regent Suite is akin to entering a world of unparalleled luxury. Every detail, from the hand-selected furnishings to the curated art pieces, speaks of extravagance and sophistication. The heart of the suite is undoubtedly the master bedroom, dominated by a $150,000 Savoir Royal king-size bed. This handcrafted masterpiece, adorned with the finest Egyptian cotton linens, promises nights of unparalleled comfort and restful slumber. Adding to the suite's allure is a private collection of original Picasso lithographs, a testament to the discerning taste of the Regent Suite's guests. These priceless pieces adorn the walls, transforming the suite into a floating art gallery. Imagine sipping your morning coffee, bathed in the warm glow of the rising sun, while admiring the works of a master painter. But the luxury doesn't stop there. The Regent Suite also features a private spa, complete with a personal sauna, steam room, and treatment area. Indulge in a rejuvenating massage, enveloped in the calming aroma of essential oils, as the gentle sway of the ship lulls you into a state of pure bliss. The Regent Suite is not just a place to stay, it's an experience, a sanctuary of luxury and indulgence designed for those who demand the very best. Indulgence at every turn. While the Regent Suite represents the pinnacle of luxury on the Seven Seas Explorer, the extravagance extends throughout the entire ship. Every guest is treated like royalty, with impeccable service and a wealth of amenities at their fingertips. Dining is an experience in itself, with a selection of gourmet restaurants serving cuisines from around the world. Imagine savoring perfectly seared foie gras, the rich flavors melting in your mouth, paired with a glass of vintage Bordeaux, carefully selected by the ship's sommelier. Or perhaps you crave the delicate flavors of Japanese cuisine, indulging in fresh sushi and sashimi, prepared right before your eyes by master chefs. Entertainment on the Seven Seas Explorer is equally captivating. Enjoy Broadway-style productions in the ship's theater, the plush velvet seats enveloping you in comfort as you lose yourself in the magic of the performance. For a more intimate setting, head to the Observation Lounge, where you can enjoy live music while sipping on handcrafted cocktails as the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky in a breathtaking display of colors. From London to Dubai, a journey of grandeur. Our journey begins in London, where guests embark on the Seven Seas Explorer, their home for the next 123 days. The ship sets sail, leaving behind the bustling metropolis as it charts a course for the exotic shores of Dubai. The days at sea are filled with leisurely pursuits, from basking in the sun on the pool deck to indulging in rejuvenating spa treatments. Upon arrival in Dubai, guests are whisked away to the iconic Burj Al Arab, the world's most luxurious hotel. Here they experience the epitome of Arabian hospitality, staying in lavish suites that offer breathtaking views of the city's glittering skyline. A private desert safari is a highlight of the Dubai experience, with guests venturing into the heart of the Arabian desert, where they enjoy a traditional Bedouin feast under the stars, the silence of the desert broken only by the crackling fire and the gentle strumming of an oud. Leaving Dubai, the Seven Seas Explorer continues its journey, sailing through the Suez Canal, a marvel of engineering that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. The experience of transiting the canal is a unique one, offering a glimpse into the history and ingenuity of mankind. 
Thank you for watching Entrepreneurial Edge. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Tonight, we're diving into a world where luxury isn't just a word, it's a bloody religion. We're talking about the most expensive, most exclusive, most ridiculously lavish drinks on the planet. Fasten your seatbelts, you lot, because this is going to be one hell of a ride. First up, we've got tequila, Lay 0.925. And let me tell you, this ain't your mama's margarita mix. This bad boy comes in a bottle crafted from platinum and solid gold. And don't even get me started on the taste. It's smooth, it's complex. It's like a symphony orchestra performing on your tongue. Next, we're off to the hallowed halls of cognac, where we encounter the legendary Henry IV Dudonion Heritage Cognac. This cognac has been aged for over a century, passed down through generations like a prized family heirloom. One sip of this and you'll be transported back in time, reliving the glory days of kings and emperors. Now, some of you might think vodka is vodka, right? Wrong! Diva Vodka is here to prove you wrong. They filter it through precious gemstones. Yes, you heard that right, gemstones. Hold on to your hats, whiskey lovers, because we're about to enter a whole new realm of indulgence. This is the Macallan 64-year-old, housed in a decanter so exquisite, it belongs in a bloody museum. The Dalmore 62 is so rare, so exclusive, that only 12 bottles were ever made. You've got a better chance of winning the lottery while being struck by lightning than getting your hands on this one. This whiskey is the holy grail for collectors, and it comes with a price tag that would make your eyes water. Get ready to be blinded by the sheer audacity of this next one. The Armand de Brignac Midas is housed in a massive gold-plated bottle that weighs more than a small child. Now, here's a spirit with a conscience. The Bombay Sapphire Revelation is not only delicious, but it also supports a good cause, so you can sip your gin and feel good about yourself at the same time. Hold on to your monocles, wine snobs because Penfold's Ampule is here to shake things up. This is a groundbreaking, game-changing innovation in the world of wine. The wine, a rare vintage from one of Australia's most prestigious vineyards, is housed in a futuristic glass ampule. Prepare yourselves for a trip back in time, because we're about to encounter a wine that's older than most countries. The 1811 Chateau d'Iquem is a true legend, a survivor of wars, revolutions, and countless hangovers. Last but not least, we come to Legacy by Angostura, a rum so rare, so exclusive, it's practically mythical. The bottle alone is a work of art, housed in a handcrafted crystal decanter that's more valuable than your car. So, there you have it. You lucky devils, a glimpse into a world of liquid luxury that most of us can only dream of. From diamond-encrusted bottles to centuries-old spirits, these drinks are the epitome of extravagance and indulgence. So next time you're feeling fancy, why not treat yourself to something special? Until next time, cheers! Oh, darling, who doesn't adore a divine handbag? Today, we're diving into the shimmering depths of absolute luxury. Buckle up, sweethearts, as we unveil the top 10 most expensive handbags to ever grace this earth. From Paris to Milan, we'll explore the unique features, visionary designers, and luxurious materials that make these bags legendary. Kicking things off with a splash of color, we have the exquisite Marc Jacobs Carolyn Crocodile Handbag. This isn't just any purple, darling. This is the kind of deep, rich hue that Cleopatra herself would have killed for. And the crocodile skin? Simply divine, like stroking a cloud, if clouds were made of the finest, softest reptile. With compartments and pockets galore, it's enough to make even the most disorganized fashionista swoon. 
Next up, we have a bag so exclusive, so breathtakingly expensive, you'd need a platinum-plated vault to store it in. The Godino bag by Hilda Palladino boasts 39 dazzling diamonds, each one sparkling like a mischievous wink, set against exquisite white gold. It's the kind of bag that makes you want to swan into a room, dripping in diamonds, and announce, I've arrived. Remember when Beyonce herself stepped out with a certain patchwork bag, sending the fashion world into a frenzy? Yes, darlings, we're talking about the iconic Louis Vuitton tribute patchwork bag. This limited edition beauty, cobbled together from remnants of previous Vuitton collections, is the epitome of effortless chic. Prepare to be dazzled, my dears, because the Judith Lieber precious rose bag is a sight to behold. Imagine, if you will, a rose, perfectly formed, crafted from the most exquisite diamonds, tourmalines, and sapphires. This bag is a work of art, a true collector's item, and a testament to the artistry of true craftsmanship. Ah, Hermes, the name itself whispers of Parisian elegance and timeless sophistication. And the Hermes Matte Crocodile Birkin bag? Well, that's in a whole other league, my dears. Crafted from the highest grade crocodile skin with a diamond encrusted clasp, this bag is the ultimate status symbol. Hold on to your hats, darlings, because Louis Vuitton is back with a vengeance. The Urban Satchel, a masterpiece of unconventional design, is not for the faint of heart. Crafted from recycled plastic bottles and chewing gum, it's a bold reminder that luxury can be found in the most unexpected places. Named after the stunning Charlize Theron, the Lana Marks Cleopatra Clutch is as glamorous and alluring as its namesake. This bag is a study in understated elegance, crafted from the finest alligator hide and adorned with a dazzling array of diamonds and gold. No list of expensive handbags would be complete without a touch of Chanel, and the Chanel Diamond Forever handbag does not disappoint. Imagine the finest crocodile leather, accented with a scattering of diamonds so dazzling they could light up the night sky. It's the kind of bag that makes you feel like a million dollars, because darling, you practically spent that much on it. Hermes is back, darlings, and this time they've outdone themselves. The Hermes Birkin bag by Ginza Tanaka is the stuff of legend. Crafted from pure platinum, yes, you heard that right, platinum, this bag is a true collector's item. It also comes with a diamond-encrusted pear-shaped diamond that can be removed and worn as a brooch. And now, for the grand finale, the piece de resistance, the bag that makes all other bags cower in its presence, the Muawad 1001 Knight's Diamond Purse. This heart-shaped beauty boasts a staggering 4,517 diamonds set in 18 karat gold. And there you have it, my dears, the top 10 most expensive handbags in the world. These bags are not just accessories, they are investments, heirlooms, and works of art. They represent the pinnacle of luxury and the extraordinary skill of the craftsmen and women who created them. Because nothing says I'm fabulous quite like a handbag that costs more than a house. Welcome to our countdown of the 10 most expensive hotels in the world. From the city of lights to the glittering cityscape of Dubai, we'll be journeying across continents to uncover the pinnacle of luxury and extravagance. Prepare to be amazed by breathtaking views, unparalleled service, and extravagant amenities that redefine the very meaning of indulgence. Our journey begins in the heart of Paris at the renowned Park Hyatt Paris Vendôme. This iconic hotel offers a taste of Parisian elegance and sophistication. Imagine waking up to a breathtaking panorama of Parisian rooftops, with the Eiffel Tower standing tall in the distance. The spacious suites and rooms, some with private balconies, are havens of comfort and style, featuring plush furnishings and marble bathrooms. Our next stop takes us to another Parisian gem, the Four Seasons Hotel George V. This historic palace hotel stands as a testament to the City of Light's enduring allure. Imagine strolling through the hotel's famed courtyard, a riot of colorful flowers meticulously arranged by renowned artistic director Jeff Latham. The rooms and suites, each uniquely designed with classic French furnishings and modern amenities, offer sanctuary from the bustling city. 
We leave the romantic streets of Paris and journey to Geneva, Switzerland, a city renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty. Here, nestled on the shores of Lake Geneva with a stunning backdrop of the Alps, lies La Reserve, a sanctuary of tranquility and understated elegance. Our journey now takes us to the dazzling city of Dubai, a testament to ambition and architectural marvels. Rising from a man-made island in the Arabian Gulf, the Burj Al Arab stands as a beacon of extravagance and luxury. Step inside and you'll be greeted by a world of unparalleled grandeur. The Burj Al Arab is not just a hotel, it's an experience designed to dazzle and amaze where every detail whispers of luxury and exclusivity. From the soaring heights of Dubai, we journey to Moscow, the vibrant capital of Russia. Here, amidst the city's historical grandeur and modern dynamism, stands the Ritz-Carlton Moscow. This iconic hotel offers a glimpse into the city's rich heritage and sophisticated present. The Ritz-Carlton Moscow is not just a hotel, it's a portal to the city's captivating past and a testament to its enduring elegance. Prepare to be transported to a world of aquatic adventure as we dive into the extravagant Atlantis Resort with locations in both Dubai and the Bahamas. This iconic destination offers an escape into a realm where fantasy knows no bounds. We return to the serene shores of Lake Geneva, where the majestic President Wilson Hotel commands breathtaking views of the water and the majestic Alps beyond. Imagine stepping into the Royal Penthouse Suite, the largest and most expensive suite in the world. Our journey takes us across the Atlantic to the bustling metropolis of New York City, where the Four Seasons Hotel New York stands tall amidst the iconic skyline. This architectural masterpiece, designed by I.M. Pei, is a beacon of modern elegance and sophistication. Step inside and you'll be greeted by the grandeur of the three-story lobby adorned with shimmering chandeliers and contemporary art. The Four Seasons Hotel New York is not just a hotel, it's a statement, a symbol of the city's vibrant energy and unwavering pursuit of excellence. Our penultimate stop takes us to the dazzling lights of Las Vegas, where the Palms Casino Resort reigns supreme as a playground for the rich and famous. The Palms Casino Resort is not just a hotel, it's an escape into a world of extravagance and excitement. Our final destination takes us to the sun-kissed shores of Greece, where the grand resort Lagunisi sprawls across a private peninsula, offering breathtaking views of the Aegean Sea. This idyllic retreat with its secluded beaches, luxurious bungalows and unparalleled service is a haven of tranquility and indulgence. Thank you for joining us on this luxurious journey to some of the world's most expensive and extravagant hotels. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more amazing content, exploring the world's most fascinating destinations and experiences. We're always on the lookout for new adventures, so be sure to let us know in the comments where you'd like to explore next. After all, the world is full of incredible places waiting to be discovered, each with its own unique charm and allure. From the dawn of humanity, we have strived to capture the world around us, to express emotions and to tell stories through art. These creations, born from the human spirit, hold a unique power to transcend time and connect us across generations. Join us as we journey into the world of high-value art, unveiling the stories behind the 10 most expensive paintings ever sold at auction. In the realm of abstract expressionism, Willem de Kooning stands as a giant, his brush strokes a symphony of color and motion. Interchange, completed in 1955, is a monumental testament to his artistic prowess. The canvas, a whirlwind of vibrant hues, invites us to lose ourselves in its chaotic beauty. Its sale in 2015 for over $300 million cemented its place in art history. De Kooning's abstract expressionism was a radical departure from traditional art forms. Interchange, with its dynamic composition and bold palette, embodies this artistic philosophy. The astronomical sum paid for Interchange reflects its aesthetic and historical significance. Paul Cézanne, the father of modern art, sought to capture the essence of form and light in his paintings. His series of five works titled The Card Players stands as a testament to his mastery of composition and observation. Depicting simple scenes of men engrossed in a game of cards, 
these paintings transcend their mundane subject matter. One of the paintings from this series sold in 2011 fetched an astronomical price adjusted for inflation exceeding $250 million. This extraordinary sum speaks to the enduring appeal of Cezanne's work, its ability to resonate across generations. The card players remains a cornerstone of art history. Paul Gauguin, driven by a yearning for the exotic, sought refuge in the vibrant culture of Tahiti. His paintings, infused with the colors and spirit of the South Pacific, captured the imaginations of audiences back home. Nafea, Faye Ipuipo, When Will You Marry? A masterpiece from this period embodies Gauguin's fascination with Tahitian life. The painting depicts two Tahitian women in a lush landscape, their vibrant clothing contrasting with the verdant greenery. The painting's sale in 2015 for over $300 million underscores its cultural and historical significance. Jackson Pollock, a pioneer of abstract expressionism, revolutionized the art world with his drip technique. His canvases, transformed into arenas for gestural improvisation, challenged traditional notions of painting. Number 17A, created in 1948, exemplifies Pollock's radical approach. The canvas, a swirling vortex of black, white and yellow paint, invites us to lose ourselves in its rhythmic dance of color and line, the painting's sale in 2016 for a price exceeding $200 million, adjusted for inflation, solidified its position as a landmark achievement in modern art. Mark Rothko, a master of colour and emotion, sought to evoke profound spiritual experiences through his paintings. His signature style, characterised by large rectangular blocks of colour floating on a canvas, invites contemplation and introspection. Number six, violet, green and red, completed in 1951, embodies Rothko's ability to transform color into a conduit for human emotion. The painting's simple yet powerful composition draws the viewer into a world of pure color. Its sale in 2014 for over $186 million reflects its enduring power to move and inspire audiences. Rembrandt van Rijn, a master of light and shadow, left an indelible mark on portraiture. His ability to capture the essence of his subjects through subtle nuances of expression remains unparalleled. The pendant portraits of Merton Sulmans and Upjan Kopit, completed in 1634, stand as a testament to Rembrandt's genius. These full-length portraits depict a newly married couple dressed in their finest attire. Rembrandt's use of light and shadow brings the figures to life, imbuing them with presence and personality. Their joint acquisition in 2015 by the Rijksmuseum and the Louvre for over $180 million highlights their unique significance. These portraits are remarkable examples of Rembrandt's artistry and valuable historical documents, offering a glimpse into 17th century Amsterdam. Pablo Picasso, a relentless innovator, reshaped the boundaries of art with his cubist experiments. His ability to deconstruct and reassemble forms to challenge conventional notions of perspective and representation revolutionized the art world. Les Femmes d'Alger, version O, completed in 1955, stands as a pinnacle of Picasso's cubist vision. This painting, part of a series inspired by Eugene Delacroix's masterpiece, showcases Picasso's mastery of form and color. Its sale in 2015 for over $179 million solidified its place as one of the most valuable artworks ever sold. The painting's complex composition, vibrant palette, and bold reimagining of a classic work showcase Picasso's unparalleled creative genius. Amadeo Modigliani, known for his distinctive portraits of elongated figures and almond-shaped eyes, left an indelible mark on modern art. His paintings blend sensuality and melancholy. Nu Cuce, painted in 1917, is one of his most celebrated and controversial works. It depicts a nude woman reclining on a red velvet divan, her elongated limbs and enigmatic gaze conveying allure and vulnerability. When first exhibited in 1917, it caused a scandal. Its depiction of female nudity shocking contemporary audiences. Its 2015 sale for over $170 million reflects its enduring power to captivate and provoke. Nukush represents a pivotal moment in art history, celebrating the female form and challenging traditional beauty. 
Jackson Pollock, a pioneer of abstract expressionism, revolutionized the art world with his drip technique. His canvases, transformed into arenas for gestural improvisation, challenged traditional notions of painting. Number five, 1948. Created at the height of Pollock's artistic powers stands as a testament to his innovative spirit. The canvas, a swirling symphony of black, white and brown paint, invites us to lose ourselves in its rhythmic dance of color and line. The painting sale in 2006 for a price exceeding $140 million, adjusted for inflation, solidifies its position as a landmark achievement in modern art. Roy Lichtenstein, a leading figure in the pop art movement, challenged the boundaries between high art and popular culture. His paintings, inspired by comic strips and advertising imagery, brought everyday icons into fine art. Masterpiece, completed in 1962, is a quintessential example of Lichtenstein's vision. The painting depicts a stylized woman, her face rendered with bold lines and bende dots, a technique from comic book printing. The speech bubble reads, my, what a masterpiece. Its ironic commentary on artistic conventions, bold use of color, and appropriation of popular imagery make it a defining work of pop art. Its 2017 sale for over $165 million underscores its cultural significance. Masterpiece represents a pivotal moment in art history when artists like Liechtenstein challenged artistic hierarchies. Pop art's embrace of popular imagery and critique of consumer culture redefined the relationship between art and the everyday world. From the gestural abstractions of Willem de Kooning to the pop art iconography of Roy Lichtenstein, these ten paintings represent a diverse spectrum of artistic movements and cultural moments. Their astronomical prices, exceeding hundreds of millions of dollars, reflect not only their aesthetic merit, but also their historical significance. They stand as testaments to the enduring power of human creativity, the ability of art to transcend time and connect us across generations. These paintings, born from moments of artistic genius, continue to inspire, provoke and challenge us, reminding us that art, in its many forms, holds a unique ability to reflect and shape the world around us. Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 most expensive perfumes in the world. From rare ingredients to exquisite craftsmanship, we'll be diving into a world of olfactory extravagance. Let's dive in. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the exquisite Anik Gutal Eau d'Adrien, a true masterpiece in the world of fragrances. This fragrance is a citrusy dream, blending the zesty notes of grapefruit and lemon with the exotic floral touch of ylang ylang, creating a harmonious and refreshing scent it's a favourite among icons like Celine Dion, Oprah and Madonna who adore its unique and captivating aroma. Perfect for anyone who loves a fresh, clean scent that's both sophisticated and playful, Eau de Hadrian is a timeless choice for any occasion, leaving a lasting impression wherever you go. Coming in at number 9, we have Jar Bolt of Lightning. This perfume is striking, powerful and unforgettable. It's an oriental fragrance with floral and spicy notes creating a warm, sensual aroma. The minimalist bottle design screams elegance. At number eight, we have a true legend joy by Jean Patou. It takes 10,000 jasmine flowers and 28 dozen roses to create just one ounce of this luxurious scent. At number seven, we have Caron Poivre. This spicy oriental scent features black and red pepper, clove and carnation. It comes in a gorgeous spice looking box that's perfect for display. At number six, we have Hermes 24 Faubourg. This floral fragrance includes gardenia, sandalwood, iris and peach. Only 1,000 bottles of this limited edition fragrance were ever made. At number five, we have Clive Christian, number one, a fragrance that epitomizes luxury and opulence. This perfume was once the most expensive in the world, a title it held proudly due to its exquisite craftsmanship and rare ingredients. It comes in two versions, one for men and one for women, each housed in a stunning bottle made from Baccarat crystal, adorned with 18 karat gold and topped with a magnificent five karat diamond. 
Yes, you heard that right. A five carat diamond. This isn't just a perfume. It's a statement piece, a collector's item and a testament to the art of perfumery. At number four, we have the iconic Chanel number no. five Grand Extrait. This fragrance is a timeless blend of abstract flowers and fresh scents. The bottle is sleek, chic, and instantly recognizable. It's everything you want in a luxury perfume. Coming in at number three, we have Baccarat Les Lames Sacrées de Thebes. The bottle is shaped like a pyramid and topped with an amethyst crystal. The scent is a blend of frankincense and myrrh, creating a warm, exotic aroma. At number two, we have Clive Christian No. 1, Imperial Majesty. This limited edition fragrance is adorned with crystals and gold inlay. The scent is a rich blend of rose centifolia, jasmine and vanilla. It's the kind of perfume that makes you feel like royalty. The number one most expensive perfume in the world is DKNY Golden Delicious Million Dollar Fragrance Bottle. This exquisite creation is not just a fragrance, but a true work of art. The bottle is covered in 2,909 precious stones, meticulously arranged to depict the iconic New York City skyline. Inside, you'll find an enchanting blend of apple, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla orchid, creating a scent that is both luxurious and unforgettable. This masterpiece is a testament to the art of perfumery and the epitome of opulence. Thank you for joining us on this luxurious journey through the world of high-end perfumes. Which one would you love to try? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more amazing content. Welcome, dear viewers, to a realm where opulence knows no bounds. In this chronicle of extravagance, we embark on a captivating journey to explore the apex predators of the aviation world, the 10 most expensive private jets ever conceived. Prepare to be captivated as we delve into the fascinating world of bespoke interiors, cutting-edge technologies, and the sheer indulgence that defines these airborne masterpieces. Our journey commences with the Gulfstream G550, a stalwart of luxury travel, renowned for its harmonious blend of performance and extravagance. With the capacity to accommodate 10 slumbering passengers, a sophisticated conference area and a high-speed internet connection, the G550 is a sanctuary in the sky. Two, we encounter the Embraer Lineage 1000E, a jet that redefines the very notion of spaciousness. A master bedroom fit for royalty awaits, complete with a bathroom boasting a walk-in shower, while an entertainment lounge and dining area stand ready to host lavish meals at 40,000 feet. 3. Prepare to be astounded by the Gulfstream G650ER, a jet that pushes the boundaries of long-range travel without sacrificing an iota of luxury. Up to 18 passengers can luxuriate in this airborne palace, enjoying high-definition entertainment, gourmet meals, and a constant connection to the digital world. Four, Bombardier Global 7500, a testament to bespoke luxury. Imagine a world where your every desire is anticipated, where four distinct living spaces morph to accommodate your every need. A master suite with a rejuvenating walk-in shower, a dedicated club suite, and a fully equipped conference suite await. 5. Boeing 757, the Trumpian touch of gold. Imagine stepping onto a flying monument to personal taste, where every surface whispers of extravagance, including a 24-carat gold-plated bathroom and seatbelts shimmering with the same precious metal. 6. Airbus ACJ 319neo, where technology meets opulence. Imagine a cabin pressurized to sea level, banishing jet lag and ensuring you arrive at your destination refreshed. State-of-the-art entertainment systems transform the cabin into a private cinema while a dedicated conference room allows you to conduct business with unparalleled comfort. 7. Boeing 787 8. BBJ, a spacious symphony of luxury. Imagine 2,400 square feet of living space, meticulously designed by the masters at Kestrel and Greenpoint Technologies. 
a master suite with a California king-size bed and a bathroom that wouldn't look out of place in a five-star hotel awaits. Eight Airbus A340-300 shrouded in mystery and luxury. This behemoth, stretching over 200 feet and powered by four mighty engines, has undergone an extensive refit, transforming it into a palace in the sky. Its luxurious interior, while hidden from public view, is rumored to be among the most lavish ever conceived. Nine Boeing 747, eight VIP, the presidential palace in the sky. Imagine stepping into a realm of unparalleled security and luxury where 4,786 square feet of customized space awaits. A private stateroom, fit for a head of state, offers a sanctuary from the demands of leadership. 10. Airbus A380, the flying palace of dreams. Owned by Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, this airborne marvel is the embodiment of unrestrained luxury. Imagine a world where a concert hall, a traditional Turkish bath, and a dedicated prayer room exist within the confines of an aircraft. As our journey through the realm of airborne extravagance draws to a close, we are left breathless by the sheer audacity of these magnificent creations. We hope this glimpse into the world of the ultra-wealthy has been as exhilarating for you as it has been for us. Until next time, dear viewers, keep your eyes on the skies and never stop dreaming of the extraordinary. Welcome to Entrepreneurial Edge. Today, we're taking a bloody airplane trip around the world to visit the top 10 most expensive restaurants. We're talking about the kind of places where you need to remortgage your house just to afford the amuse-bouche. But listen, it's not just about the price tag, you donkey. These restaurants are culinary masterpieces, pushing the boundaries of what's possible on a plate. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. First up, we're heading to Tokyo, Japan, home of Aragawa. This place is legendary for one thing and one thing only, Kobe beef. This is the Wagyu of Wagyu, raised like royalty. You're looking at around $370 per person. And let me tell you, it's worth every penny. The texture, the flavor, it's enough to make a grown man cry. Each bite is a symphony of flavors, a true testament to the art of Japanese beef. Next, we're off to Paris and Las Vegas to experience Guy Savoy. Yeah, that Guy Savoy. The epitome of fine dining with a price tag to match. You're paying for the experience, service, and food. And let me tell you, the food is brilliant, exquisite, complex, and bursting with flavor. Now we're off to Crissier, Switzerland, to Restaurant de l'Hôtel de Ville. This place is all about local ingredients and simple, elegant dishes. Don't let that fool you, though. The chef here is a master of his craft, creating dishes that are bursting with flavor, using no more than three flavors per plate. It's a testament to the fact that sometimes, less is more. Just be prepared to shell out around $415 per person for the privilege. Maison Pic, a family affair. Our next stop takes us to Valence, France, to Maison Pic. This family-run restaurant has been going strong since 1889. The tasting menus here push the boundaries of French cuisine. It costs around $445 per person. For a taste of history and creative food, it might be worth it. Kicho Arashiyama, a taste of Japanese history. We're heading to Kyoto to experience Kicho Arashiyama. This place serves a traditional multi-course dinner called Kaiseki. It's a journey through Japanese culinary history. The presentation is exquisite and the flavors are refined. Expect to pay around $450 per person, but it's an unforgettable experience. Le Maurice, opulence on a plate. We're back in Paris at the beautiful Le Maurice. This place oozes elegance and sophistication. The food is classic French with a modern twist and the service is impeccable. All this luxury costs around $480 per person. But if you're going to splurge, do it in style. Mesa the pricey pinnacle of sushi. You can't talk about expensive restaurants without mentioning sushi. Masa in New York City is in a league of its own. Prices are determined by the market, around $595 per person. The fish is flown in fresh daily from Japan, unmatched quality. Next, we're off to Shanghai, China for a truly unique dining experience. 
ultraviolet. This place is about more than just food. It's a full-blown sensory overload. With only one table for 10 guests, you'll be treated to a 22-course meal synchronized with lights, sounds, and even scents. It's a feast for all the senses, but it'll cost you. Prices range from $600 to $900 per person. We're back in New York City for our next stop. Per se, the brainchild of renowned chef Thomas Keller. This place is known for its playful yet sophisticated cuisine using only the finest seasonal ingredients. The tasting menus are constantly evolving but you can always expect something creative and delicious. Be prepared to drop some serious cash though, around $685 per person. Finally, we've arrived at the most expensive restaurant in the world, Sublimotion in Ibiza, Spain. This place is not for the faint of heart, both in terms of price and experience. You'll be dining in a high-tech capsule, complete with VR headsets, synchronized projections, and even choreographed numbers. It's a full-blown theatrical production, with food playing a supporting role. But be warned, this experience comes at a hefty price, a whopping $2,380 per person. So, there you have it, the top 10 most expensive restaurants in the world. From the traditional to the downright bizarre, these restaurants are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the culinary world. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Let us know in the comments which restaurant you'd love to visit, if you could afford it. Until next time, stay hungry. What comes to mind when you ponder the most expensive smartphone in the world? Perhaps a device that's dripping in diamonds? Or maybe one that's plated in gold? Well, prepare to have your expectations surpassed as we delve into the world of the most expensive smartphones, where technology meets extreme luxury. In the 10th spot, we find the Dior Reverie Haute Couture. Priced at a whopping $102,000, this smartphone is a dazzling fashion statement. It boasts 1,539 diamonds and 46 pieces of mother of pearl, marking Dior's successful venture into blending high-end fashion with technology. Next, we have the Savelli smartphone, targeted specifically at women. Retailing for $205,000, the Savelli presents luxury designs with jewel-encrusted cases made from 18 karat gold. This device is indeed a piece of haute couture technology. In the eighth place, we come across the Black Diamond VIPN. An artistic creation by Jared Goh, this $300,000 phone includes two karat diamonds and serves more as a luxury accessory than a technological powerhouse. The Virtu Signature Cobra takes the seventh spot. Retailing for $320,000, this device is dominated by a design featuring 439 rubies and a diamond-encrusted cobra, an opulent blend of unique aesthetics. Halfway through our list, we encounter the Gresso Luxor Las Vegas Jackpot. This $1 million phone is crafted from 200-year-old African blackwood and adorned with a multitude of diamonds. With only three units ever made, this device truly emphasizes exclusivity. The Gold Vish Le Million takes the fifth spot, initially debuting at an impressive $1.3 million. Made from 18 karat gold and encrusted with 120 carats of diamonds, this device reaffirms its status among the elites. In the fourth position, we have the Supreme Gold Striker iPhone 3G, costing a staggering $3.3 million. This iPhone variant is among the most embellished devices, featuring an array of diamonds and gold. The iPhone 4S Elite Gold takes the third spot. Priced at $7.6 million, this iPhone boasts 500 diamonds and a section purportedly containing a Tyrannosaurus Rex bone. In the second place, we have the Black Diamond iPhone 5. Priced at $15.3 million, this phone, crafted by Stuart Hughes, includes a 26 karat black diamond and embodies the pinnacle of luxury in mobile technology. Finally, at the top of our list, we have the Falcon Supernova Pink Diamond iPhone 6 Plus. The epitome of smartphone luxury, this device is priced at a mind-boggling $110 million. Featuring an 18 karat pink diamond and available in gold, rose gold, or platinum, it represents the zenith of combining technology with precious materials. These smartphones aren't just devices, they are symbols of wealth and status. While their technology might quickly become outdated, their style and luxury endure. This extravagance highlights a niche market where functionality meets luxury, reflecting broader trends in consumption among the ultra-rich.
This roundup not only showcases the peak of luxury and technology, but also reflects on the broader implications of such extravagance in modern society. So, the next time you think about the most expensive smartphone in the world, you'll know it's much more than just a device. Hold on to your laces because we're about to step into the world of the most expensive sneakers ever sold, where price tags can run into the millions. Yes, millions. And no, that's not a typo. At number 10, we have the Nike Air Mags, famously worn by Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future Part 2. These shoes, complete with self-tying laces, fetched a cool $37,500 at auction, proving that cinematic nostalgia can certainly up the ante. Next up, we have the Nike Air Force One S, which were transformed into a $50,000 luxury item through customizations with diamonds and gold. This trend of incorporating precious materials into everyday items shows just how much people are willing to pay for a touch of opulence. Speaking of celebrity influence, we have Kanye West's Grammy-worn Nike Air Yeezy 1S at number 8. These shoes sold for $50,000, highlighting the power of celebrity usage and exclusivity. At number 7, we have a pair of Nike Air Jordan 1S, autographed by none other than Michael Jordan himself. These sneakers sold for $60,000, demonstrating the added value of personal endorsements by celebrities. In the sixth spot, we have the Air Jordan 12S gifted by Drake, which sold for a whopping $77,000 at auction. This underscores the impact of provenance on the value of sneakers. Cracking the top five, we have Michael Jordan's sneakers from the infamous flu game. These Air Jordan 12S fetched over $100,000, prized not just for their rarity, but for their historical sports significance. In the fourth spot, we have Michael Jordan's gold medal converse, worn during the 1984 Olympics. These sold for a staggering $190,373, marking the last time Jordan wore converse in an official game. The bronze medal goes to the Nike Air Mags with power laces, which garnered $200,000 at auction with proceeds going to Michael J. Fox's foundation for Parkinson's research. In second place, we have the Fire Monkey sneakers. These $4 million shoes featuring diamonds and gold were sold for charity, proving that philanthropy and luxury can indeed go hand in hand. And finally, the most expensive sneakers ever sold, the Air Yeezy 2 Red October, fetched a mind-boggling $17 million on eBay. These sneakers, linked to cultural icon Kanye West, exemplify the extreme market potential for luxury sneakers. From cinematic nostalgia and celebrity influence to charitable causes and historical significance, the sneaker market reflects broader trends in global luxury and consumer culture. It's a world where scarcity, storytelling and celebrity connections translate into staggering economic value, proving that sneakers have firmly laced up their place in the realms of fashion, luxury and culture. So, next time you tie your laces, remember, you're not just wearing shoes, you're walking in a cultural phenomenon. Have you ever wondered what the most expensive watch in the world looks like? Or pondered what makes a watch worth millions or even tens of millions of dollars? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey through the world of luxury timepieces where opulence and craftsmanship reign supreme. We start our countdown with the Louis Monet Meteoris watch. Priced at a cool $4.6 million, this watch is a celestial masterpiece, incorporating genuine space elements like moon rock and Mars rock. It's not just a watch, it's a piece of the universe on your wrist. Next up, we have the Hublet Big Bang, a $5 million marvel. This diamond-studded timepiece includes over 1,200 diamonds. It's not just a watch, it's a constellation that you can wear. The Vacheron Constantin 57260, known as the most complicated watch, with 57 complications and 2,800 parts, is a testament to the magic of horology. Sold for $8 million, this watch is a statement of complexity and craftsmanship. The Patek Philippe Ref 1518, fetching over $11 million at auction, is a unique masterpiece. Its stainless steel case is a rarity among luxury watches that usually feature precious metal casings. Now, we venture into the realm of extreme wealth with the Jacob & Company Billionaire Watch. Priced at $18 million, this watch features 260 carats of emerald-cut diamonds. The Patek Philippe Henry Graves Pocket Watch, once the most expensive watch at $11 million, fetched $24 million in a recent sale thanks to its historical value and intricate design. The Chopard 201 Carat Watch, priced at $25 million, 
is a celebration of luxury. It features 874 diamonds without any specific pattern, highlighting the spontaneity in high-value craftsmanship. Originally commissioned for Marie Antoinette, the Breguet Grand de Complication. Marie Antoinette is a watch filled with historical intrigue. Encapsulating luxury with its gold casing and multiple functions, it is priced at $30 million. Next, the Graf Diamonds. The fascination, priced at $40 million, includes a 38.13 carat pear-shaped diamond, representing a pinnacle in integrating high-value jewels into wearable designs. Finally, the Graf Diamonds Hallucination, standing at the top with a whopping $55 million price tag. This watch features 110 carats of rare colored diamonds and is a monumental achievement in luxury watchmaking. So there you have it. These aren't just watches. They're masterpieces of art, luxury, and technology. They represent the pinnacle of craftsmanship and opulence in the watchmaking industry. They are a testament to the fact that a watch is not just a time-telling device, but a symbol of status, a piece of history, and a work of art. Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to Entrepreneurial Edge. Today, we have a truly special episode lined up for you. We're diving deep into the world of luxury, exploring the top 10 most expensive whiskeys ever sold. These aren't just drinks, they are masterpieces. We're talking about bottles that cost more than a house. Yes, you heard that right, more than a house. So sit back, pour yourself a wee dram, and get ready to be amazed by these liquid treasures. Each bottle has a story, a legacy, and a price tag that will leave you speechless. Let's get started, shall we? Prepare to be dazzled by the opulence and history of these extraordinary whiskeys. First up, we have the Balvany 50-year-old single malt scotch whiskey, a true masterpiece in the world of spirits. This exquisite bottle fetched an astonishing $50,000 at auction, a testament to its rarity and desirability among collectors. It spent an incredible 50 years maturing in an oak cask, resulting in a whiskey with a rich dark color and a taste that's both complex and smooth, offering layers of flavors that unfold with each sip. They only released 88 bottles of this liquid gold, each one carefully drawn from a single barrel, making it an exclusive treasure for whiskey aficionados. Makes you wonder who managed to get their hands on those precious bottles, doesn't it? Imagine the stories and the celebrations that each of these bottles has been a part of. Next, we're heading to the breathtaking Scottish Highlands, home to the renowned Dalmore Distillery, for a closer look at the Dalmore Matheson. They only produced 12 bottles of this exclusive whiskey, making it one of the rarest and most sought-after spirits in the world. This exquisite blend is a marriage of four single malt whiskies, each distilled in the year 1942, a time of great historical significance. Each bottle is meticulously hand-blown by skilled artisans and named after a prominent figure from Dalmore's rich history, adding a personal touch to every decanter. These bottles are not just beverages but pieces of art, selling for an astonishing $58,000 each, reflecting their exclusivity and craftsmanship. I can only imagine the kind of person who sips on this luxurious whiskey, perhaps at an exclusive tasting event or in a high-end whiskey lounge, savoring every drop. Now if you thought those first two were old, get a load of this. The W&J Mutter's Bowmore 1850 is the oldest known bottle of Bowmore whiskey, dating back to 1851. This piece of history fetched $68,135 at auction. Macallan Fine and Rare, 1926. This whiskey, distilled in 1926, spent 60 years mellowing in white oak casks. Known for its incredibly dry and concentrated flavor, a bottle sold for $75,000. It's the kind of whiskey you savor, one drop at a time. Glenfiddich Janet Sheed Roberts Reserve, 1955. Named in honor of Janet Sheed Roberts, this special reserve was bottled in 2011 to celebrate her 110th birthday. They only released 11 bottles. The proceeds from the sale, $94,000 per bottle, went to charity. George Washington Distillery Straight Rye Whiskey Made using George Washington's original recipe, this whiskey aged for two years in American oak casks and sold for $100,000. Glenfiddich's Rare Collection, 1937. 
This whiskey spent 64 years in oak casks, with only 61 bottles produced selling for $120,000. Nuns Island Distillery Pure Pot Still Whiskey. The only known bottle from a distillery that closed in 1908, it was discovered in an attic and sold for $143,000. Dalmore 64 Trinitas. A blend of four rare whiskies aged for 64 years with only three bottles released, each selling for $164,000. McAllen 64 Year in Lalique. The oldest and most expensive whiskey ever sold by Macallan, distilled in 1946 and aged for 64 years. The decanter, made from Lalique crystal, sold for $460,000, with proceeds going to charity. Until next time cheers! Well there you have it my darlings, the top 10 most expensive whiskies in the world. Thanks for joining me on this luxurious journey. Until next time cheers! Ever wondered which feline friends carry the heftiest price tag? We're talking about the creme de la creme of the cat world. Today, we're diving into the world of luxury with the top 10 most expensive cat breeds. From the striking patterns of the Bengal to the hairless allure of the Sphinx, we're ranking these majestic felines based on their rarity, lineage and unique quirks. Get ready to have your mind blown because some of these price tags will make your whiskers twitch. Taking the crown as the most expensive cat breed in the world is the majestic Ashera. With its striking resemblance to a miniature leopard, the Ashera boasts a price tag that can reach a jaw-dropping $100,000. Bred from the genes of the African servile, the Asian leopard cat, and a dash of domestic cat, the Ashera is a hybrid masterpiece. Their limited availability, coupled with their exotic looks and hypoallergenic qualities, makes them a coveted prize. Coming in at a close second is the Savannah, a breed that redefines what it means to be a feline companion. Known for their impressive size, striking spotted coats and surprisingly dog-like personalities, Savannas command a price tag of up to $50,000. Savannas are incredibly intelligent and social creatures, often forming deep bonds with their human families. They're known to greet their owners at the door, play fetch, and even enjoy a good leash walk. Prepare to be mesmerized by the Bengal, a breed that brings the allure of the wild right into your living room. With their distinctive spotted coats, reminiscent of their leopard ancestors, Bengals have captured the hearts of cat lovers worldwide. Owning one of these exotic beauties comes at a cost with prices ranging from $1,000 to $25,000. For those with allergies, the Alerca hypoallergenic cat seemed like a dream come true. Marketed as the perfect solution for allergy sufferers, these felines were genetically bred to produce fewer allergens, with a hefty price tag to match, reaching up to $6,000. However, controversy soon surrounded the breed, with many questioning the validity of their hypoallergenic claims. The debate over their effectiveness continues, leaving potential buyers to weigh the costs and benefits carefully. No list of expensive cat breeds would be complete without mentioning the iconic Persian. With their luxurious long coats, sweet temperaments and those unforgettable flat faces, Persians have long been a symbol of feline elegance. Their price tag reflects their regal status, ranging from $500 to $5,500. Originating from Russia, the Peterbald is a breed that's as unique as its name suggests. Known for their hairless bodies, wrinkled skin, and captivating gaze, Peterbalds have a way of turning heads wherever they go. Their price tag is just as attention-grabbing, ranging from $1,300 to $5,000. With their stunning silver-blue coats, piercing green eyes, and enigmatic smiles, Russian blues have earned their reputation as the aristocrats of the cat world. These elegant felines are known for their gentle nature, intelligence, and playful personalities. Their price tag reflects their desirability, ranging from $400 to $3,000.
Prepare to be charmed by the Sphinx, a breed that's as unconventional as it is affectionate. Known for their hairless bodies, expressive eyes and wrinkled skin, Sphinx cats are often described as warm, suede hot water bottles. Despite their tough guy exterior, Sphinx cats are incredibly social and crave attention. They're the ultimate Velcro cats, always seeking cuddles and warmth from their humans. Prepare to be captivated by the Scottish Fold, a breed known for its distinctive folded ears and sweet owl-like expressions. These enchanting felines have captured the hearts of cat lovers worldwide, including celebrities like Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran. Their unique appearance comes with a price tag to match ranging from $150 to $3,000. Rounding out our list is the British Shorthair, a breed that's as beloved for its plush coat as it is for its easygoing personality. With their dense teddy bear-like fur, round faces and captivating eyes, British Shorthairs have a timeless charm that never goes out of style. Their popularity is reflected in their price tag, which can range from $500 to $1,500. From the leopard-like allure of the Ashera to the hairless charm of the Sphinx, these luxurious cat breeds offer a glimpse into the extraordinary world of feline companionship. But it's important to remember that owning one of these exclusive creatures comes with a significant commitment. Their rarity often means specialised care, from unique dietary needs to potential health concerns. Which of these luxurious cat breeds would you love to bring home? Let us know in the comments below. Have you ever wondered what it would feel like to walk on a million dollars? We're about to step into a world where fantasy meets fashion. We're talking about shoes, my friends, but not just any shoes. These are the most expensive women's shoes ever created. Get ready to be dazzled by diamonds, stunned by sapphires, and mesmerized by millions. Over the next few minutes, we'll unveil the top 10 most expensive women's shoes, revealing the stories behind their creation and the jaw-dropping price tags that come with owning a piece of fashion history. Our first stop takes us to the Oscars, that dazzling night of glamour and stardust. Picture this, a sea of shimmering gowns, the flash of cameras, and then a hush falls as actress Laura Herring graces the red carpet in the Diamond Dream Stilettos by Stuart Weitzman, valued at half a million dollars. 464 glistening diamonds, each set in platinum, adorn the delicate straps. These aren't just shoes, they are wearable sculptures. Let's journey back in time to Dorothy's iconic ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz. These aren't mere props, they are cinematic treasures, auctioned for a record-breaking $612,000. They represent the enduring power of dreams and the timeless allure of classic cinema. Our next stop takes us to the dazzling world of Hollywood icon, Marilyn Monroe. Stuart Weitzman used a pair of earrings once owned by Marilyn Monroe to create these shoes a reminder that true glamour never fades. Hold on to your hats, ladies, because these next shoes caused quite a stir. The retro rose pumps, valued at a million dollars, feature roses crafted from rare pink diamonds. These shoes were at the center of an Oscars controversy, proving the power of fashion to spark conversation. Prepare to be blinded by the brilliance of pure platinum. The Platinum Guild stilettos, valued at $1,100,000, showcase the exquisite beauty of platinum. Adorned with 464 pristine diamonds, these stilettos are a testament to the allure of precious metals. Stuart Weitzman paid homage to Dorothy's ruby slippers with his own interpretation, valued at $1,600,000. 642 Burmese rubies set against shimmering platinum make these shoes a testament to the magic of cinema meeting couture. Our next stop takes us to the realm of rare gemstones with the Tanzanite Heels, a collaboration by Stuart Weitzman and Eddie Levian. Valued at $2 million, these shoes feature 185 carats of vibrant Tanzanite gemstones. A 28 carat Tanzanite gem adorns the toe, making these shoes a true collector's item. Who hasn't dreamed of being Cinderella? 
Stuart Weitzman captured this magic with the Cinderella slippers, valued at $2,200,000. 565 Quiat diamonds adorn the delicate straps. A 5 carat amaretto diamond on the toe makes these shoes the stuff of dreams. Our journey takes us back to Hollywood's golden age with the Rita Hayworth heels. Stuart Weitzman used a pair of earrings once owned by Rita Hayworth as the centerpiece of these stunning heels. Valued at $3 million, these shoes are a testament to the enduring legacy of Hollywood royalty. We've come to the end of our journey with the Ruby Slippers by Harry Winston. Valued at $3 million. 4,600 rubies set in shimmering platinum. It took Harry Winston's craftsmen two months to create these masterpieces, a testament to their dedication and passion. From diamond-encrusted stilettos to ruby-adorned slippers, we've journeyed through a world where fantasy meets fashion. These shoes are more than just expensive accessories. They are works of art, meticulously crafted testaments to human creativity. So, the next time you slip on your favorite pair of shoes, remember the stories they tell and the power of fashion to transport us to a world of wonder and possibility.